Uh, probably in the tap with some being yeah. six. You all right? Hello. Yeah. Yes. Lovely. Yes. I'm in a bath. It's at 7 yeah. p.m. Nice. It's a lovely time to bathe. Mixing business with pleasure, man. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, the band are performing at Takedown Festival tonight. What can fans expect from your set? And do you have any stories from playing Southampton? I'm actually banned from TK Maxx in Southampton. Yeah. Are you really? Yeah, that was, a, that was on a... Um, I changed the um, label, um, like the sale tag, on a pair of Adidas Sambas. And um, well, it was like shell toes. <laughs> you are mental. Yeah, so I took them to the counter and um, the guy come up, grabbed me took me to the room back, Neil came with me, the drummer, he came back and uh, so I, I was saying, oh well, there was another pair in the cell that was a different size but it was the same model, you know, it was the same trainer. So I was basically saying, oh well I just thought that there was no label on it and he was like, is that your story? Is that the story? Is that the story you want to tell to the police? And I was like, oh I can't be bothered with this. So I said, yeah I know what I was doing and then he fined me £100 maybe, something like that, and then um, banned me from TK Maxx's nationwide. TK Maxx doesn't take shit, does I've it? I've been back, yeah. that's it, yeah, they don't know. Every time I go in there, it's like... It's he wears one of those fake moustaches and them glasses. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, the band will be headlining the Red Bull stage at Download this year. Any special plans for the set? And uh, are there any other bands you plan on seeing? Um, Maiden? We're, yeah, we're going the night before for Maiden, just to cheer along on the, Obviously. Yeah, yeah, the Maiden boys. Um, I say boys, the Maiden men. <laughs> they wouldn't want to be called boys, they're only <laughs> men. Um, there's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of other good bands playing, but we, that, that's the one where we've kind of gone, all right, stop the press. Like, because obviously we play so many festivals over the years, that you, there's very few bands that we've not seen before that we actually want to see. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, that's the one where we've got, okay, well, let's, 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 we're going to watch Maiden. But um, there is, we've got a few, we've got a few um, surprises for download. We've got a couple of guests that we're actually sorting out, and um, so it's going to be on the last night as well. So it's like on the last night, it kind of read in Leeds. Everybody's kind of drugged up to the eyeballs and had enough yeah, yeah, to go home. Like, whereas <laughs> whereas at uh, download and so it's like, let's rock one more time. <laughs> yeah. So I've got a sneaking suspicion it's going to be like a, a metal fest. I think there'll be a lot of dreadlocks and a lot of black clothing. Maybe a bit of leather. Excited. Uh, what's the strangest thing you've seen while performing live? A field of French school children oh, moshing yeah. to our music was that was the, was the maddest thing I've ever seen. We started the song. We played because we, we we played a few gigs at this guy's house and we just kind of got to know him. And then he was like, "Hey, I teach at the school. Would you like to come and play for our school children?" And we were like, "Okay, okay," and do this seminar and talk to them. And we played an acoustic set, and then he goes, ah, you must come back next year, we will do full festival. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, work. And then we came back, and they had this, like, festival stage rig rigged up in the... But a proper um, school. And it was a school and big, a college, and big they school. take school seriously in France. And we had a, and it was in the school yard, which was massive. So it was like a, a lot of chill, a lot of kids it's like there. bigger than some festivals yeah. that you're playing and with. Yeah, and it had a barrier, it had security. And um, we started the first song, and I remember the song was Arcade Perfect. Um, so it's kind of got a real build up. And they were all like that, smiling. Like, and they were all sort of moving their head and then sort of pushing out a little bit of a pit. And I'm like, no, no. And then it, <laughs> and then it comes in. Just all started for pushing each other, leaping round, doing proper kung fu hardcore. Me and Neil, oh, I really was, clean I, and really nice kids. Yeah, like, in, not like, like, in like the cock sporty little um, polo all shirts. Had, all and had all. braces as well. <laughs> <laughs> all had braces on. It was just, just like brought out in a mosh. That's yeah. awesome. Great answer. <laughs> um, oh, this is a Twitter slash Facebook question apparently. Uh, Jamal. Jamal. Jarmel? Jarmel. Jarmel. It's Jarmel. He's just got out of prison, actually, Jarmel. So. <laughs> Jamin on Facebook asks, uh, do you have any plans to tour with Hadouken? Yes. Uh, we'd love to. <laughs> I mean, we'd love to. We, was, after we played with him in Manchester the other week, and then we, I was speaking to James, and we were all speaking to the rest of the band afterwards, and they were like, um, yeah, we'd love to have you again. I mean, it's, that's kind of the polite thing to say, but, you, you, you know, reading between lines, I got the impression that they, they were happy with what we did and we'd love to play with them because it's kind of a different crowd than what we've used to play. But it, it totally works with our music, but it's mm. not the cr same crowd that we've traditionally played to. So um, we would love to. We've spoke about it to them. Hopefully it's in their hands. So the best thing you can do if you want to see us with them is just 
politely and gently nudge them via their social networks yeah, to yeah, get us yeah. on tour. So, badge them, badge yeah, them badge them, badge them, yeah. don't be arseholes about it. You've got to be nice people, about it, aren't you? Passionate yeah. fans, that's yeah. what... Yeah. Well, that's cool. Yeah. I wouldn't change a thing. All right then, well, Jenga, that's your question asked. Uh, Jenga, his name's <laughs> changed about five times. <laughs> uh, if you could have written the score for any movie, what would it be and what would it sound like? Hmm. For any movie that's already been done, obviously. Is that what you mean? Well, you can, you can invent your own film, but I think we mean movies that exist. Yeah, but I, you've got a screenplay in your head, I, I, you've got I a soundtrack. Is that your thought, thought or is yeah, it sorry, sorry, real? Sorry. <laughs> no, there's also fish in it. Yeah, yeah. I have, no, it calls my feet Conger Real. Um, um, I had the worst nightmare I've ever had the other night. It's okay. a bit long-winded. Oh, go for it, we can just but, edit it down. Give us the abridged version. I, I, I told Nick Horn, our guitarist, the dream, and he said he found it disturbing. So, right, I dreamt go. the other night that we were playing Takedown, mm. um, and it was actually, in my dream, it was a similar setup to what it is. So, you know, it was quite a small stage, um, and, uh, you know, there were quite a few people there to watch us. Funnily enough, when we were playing, Skindred were there, and funnily enough, today, the drummer from Skindred is there. Oh my, yeah, I didn't even think of that. Um, it's getting we were <laughs> we were awful. Like we were so. You always dreamed that like, you yeah, can't we hold were, it together. <laughs> we were so bad. Like we always dreamed. Sorry, He's got a song called Sister, and I once dreamed that it was called Uncle on a set list, and I went, "What's Uncle?" And everyone went, "Sister." <laughs> like, as, as if it was my fault. So <laughs> we uh, we played. We were awful. It was really embarrassing because like our friends were there, Skin Dread were there. And then we went backstage, and it was all of us, including our merch girls, Barney's girlfriend, like the whole crew, like everyone that everyone we know was with us. And then Neil, our drummer, came up to me. He went, I've got to have a word with you all. And he sat us all down, like 12 of us, and he went, you've taken it too far. You've taken it too far this time. And we were like, Neil, dude, like, what are you talking about? Like, you've, you've gone mad, are you on drugs? Yeah, and he was like, <laughs> and he was like, he was like, he was like, no, no, you know, you know what you did, you know what you did, and we were like, just tell us. And apparently, he he had a younger brother who was fourteen who died, and we went, but we went to his his grave, and it hadn't <laughs> the coffin was in the grave, oh, yeah. but none of the none of the soil had been put on it, oh, okay. and we thought it'd be hilarious to like throw shop, shopping trolleys in it and old tellies and like we got the seats out the van and threw them in it and Neil was like you know what you did and he told us and he was like yeah it's awful and we were like no way did we do it but then memories started coming back and Barney was like god we did do that didn't we like what were we thinking sorry Neil and <laughs> Neil was like just answer the question <laughs> somebody has to write a soundtrack to this so Neil gave us the itinerary and he went, look at this. And listen, every page we turned, there was a child's handprint appearing. <laughs> Uh, somebody do a soundtrack. I, I enjoyed the soundtrack to Drive recently. I liked the retro 80s. Oh, Drive, yeah, retro 80s, yeah. perfect. What a great, uh, okay. what a great <laughs> answer to that question. Just edit that bit. Let's out. move on, shall we? You recently covered Ricky Gervais' Equality Street single. <laughs> yes. uh, in 30 seconds, name us as many shows and movies that Ricky Gervais has starred in. The Office. Go. The, the Office, office the Extras. In, the Invention of Lying. Um, Animals. Ghost Town. Um, politics. politics. Fame. Uh, and Nightmare at, night at the Museum 1 and 2. There we go. Um, uh, so, for your consideration... 10 o'clock show? Was he on that? Yeah, the, the 11 o'clock show. And the 11 o'clock show, show. <laughs> was, was, it, was it? So there's animals, fame, science, politics, there's his four um, stand-up stand up shows. Oh, the one little pe Oh, the what's, Derek. What's it been in recently? Uh, time. Kirby and Enthusiasm series. Eight. That was very impressive. I counted up to ten, then I ran out of fingers. So you got over ten. So yeah. congratulations. Okay, so we, we win a bath. We win. Uh, yeah, you, you get we to win. stay. Win. That's what you get to oh. do. You won that big pube. What is? Eh, what <laughs> yeah, is where, where did you pluck that off? I was, don't. Do not. Oh, do. Right. Don't. I have a fear of. You have a fear of big pubes. Yes. Mm. <laughs> um, Who doesn't? They're not yeah. natural. And a fear of water that's gone grey. Which this um, has now, so I'm. Yeah, well, I think we should probably end the interview. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Lovett, thank you for coming. Uh, oh, nice wet water. Huh? Been, uh... I have to tell you, this is the first bath I've got in that I've not weed in, so. Oh, that's really nice. Well, thank you for making the effort. Uh, yeah. This has been in the tub of Sonic Boom 6. Uh, say, you wave or something, I'm not certain. You can't wet a bath. Uh... <laughs>